Getting you more reactions on the News 18 survey and also on the Uniform Civil Court. This time reacting to the survey is uh, CPIM General Secretary M.Y. Terry Gabi. He goes on to say that there is a lot of confusion that the survey right now has created and uh, he doesn't want to go ahead and comment on it right now. What he goes on to further say is that the government has an agenda because among the ranks of people, both men and women, should have equal say. But what is the government's ploy before, as far as the UCC is concerned, something that we need to understand first? That's what we are given to understand. That's coming in, the word coming in from CPIM General Secretary M.Y. Tarigami. Uh, sir, uh, UCC, hai, UCC is there. Uh, we're seeing that political parties have picked it up. Network 18 has done a survey which states uh, that uh, there's a high support of UCC among educated women. And then there are 60% of women which say that common code must be followed in civil matters. And there is also 76% disagree with polygamy. How do you see all of this? This is the first of all, there is a lot of confusion and uh, created by the government itself among the ranks of the people, both women and men. We do not know as of now what exactly uh, is the agenda of the government. What do they mean? How do they interpret the common civil code for all women in our country? We do stand for reforms. We do stand for equal rights for women. But certainly equal rights does not mean uniformity. Uniformity and equality are two different things. We should not confuse both of them. We should not, you see, under this garb of protecting the women's rights, which of course is the necessity, but certainly uh, not at the cost of the unity of our people, not dividing them further on the basis of religion, putting one section against the other, for just electoral purposes, that's not acceptable. My colleague Ishan Vani, who's got us that interview, is joining us on the broadcast now. Ishan, uh, the view that's coming into the CPIM is that there's a confusion being created over gender justice and the uniform civil code. He goes on to target the government over it. Just uh, share CPIM's official views on the uniform civil code, please. Uh, well, yes, that's exactly what Darigami said, that, that there was an attempt to create confusion and divide people on UCC and before... Uh, uh, the general elections, uh, the B B uh, CPIM alleges that it's a move to uh, garner votes. Uh, mm -hmm. What he said that uh, they don't know what the government's agenda is uh, in terms of UCC because there is no draft. Uh, he also went on to say that uh, they stand, CPM actually stands for the rights of women, uh, but uniformity and equality are two different things, and that is where, uh, you know, the question arises. He also said that there was a law commission which was formed under Prime Minister Modi, and the government is not uh, ready to disclose what the commission said, but he blames that uh, uh, the commission uh, uh, has said uh, that, uh, you know, this is not uh, applicable at the point when the commission did the survey, and there was no need for another commission to be uh, you know, uh, survey needs to be done. Uh, uh, Tarigami was critical of the government in a way that, uh, you know, this is uh, a move which is being done to divide people uh, in terms of votes and gain politically. And uh, he also went on to say that there's a reform needed in Hindu community or Hindu laws as well. It's mm -hmm. not only Muslims that because we have asking them about the survey that the Network 18 has done in regard to uh, the sort of reforms that uh, Muslim, Muslim women, the way they have responded to the survey. Uh, but yes, they went right on to say that uh, this is something which is being created to divide the voters and to garner more. Okay. Ishan, thank you. And thank you so much for joining us with all the latest as far as that big breaking is concerned. And on that note, we are slipping into a very short break. News and updates continue right here on the broadcast on CNN News 18. So stay tuned for more.